to shy away from who I was. I used to cover my tattoos up. I can't do that anymore. You don't live your life according to me. Why should I do that for you? It doesn't work like that. And we are so wrong for ever, even asking people to kind of dance to our tune. I was always a very active child, so everything that you didn't expect the typical little girl to be doing was exactly what I was doing. I started gymnastics at about six. Um, I was playing soccer from about nine, kickboxing from about 12. But it was only when I kind of stepped outside of my, my family setting that things got a little bit weird and people made me feel very different. At that age, what do you know? How do you know what different is? How do you know if people are treating you wrong? You have no idea. So little things like if I'm the only girl in a soccer team, naturally I'm gonna feel a little bit odd because I'm looking around and there's no other females in the team. And sooner or later from why are you playing soccer, it then becomes why are you choosing this career when that's not a female or typical female career? What man is gonna want you? It seems like that's, that's supposed to be our greatest achievement is looking good and having a man want you. I don't know where I was once, but I saw some, some b-boys doing these things that obviously I had no idea what it was. And the only thing that caught me was, why are there no females doing this? A uh, defining moment for me was coming here, all the top dancers in the industry are all part of this gigs, like 20 dancers, 10 girls, 10 guys. And then they say, you, uh, you're going to have a breaking solo of about two minutes. So I'm like, okay, cool. And then they give me my outfit. And it's, um, it's hot shorts and fishnets. So eventually client says to me, look, if you're not going to put this outfit on, you need to leave because this is what the costume is for the show. So I say goodbye. Two hours later, I get a call from the stylist. Um, she calls me and she's like, look, can I come pick up one of your track pants, we're going to get you some gear made. At the gig, there's a photo of me with all the girls um, in their hot shorts and their fishnets and me in my drop crotch blue pants. For me, the success comes from running headfirst into whatever it is that kind of feels uncomfy to me. a lot of mixes, you make a lot of dance performance mixes. So I realized I had an ear for this. So initially when I started DJing, it was just because I liked it. And then I realized actually people like me too. You see a lot of female DJ success comes from the female DJs in the bikinis, the female DJs um, half naked. That's what females are here for, you know, to be good on your eyes. So then you go, actually, I'm gonna rock up in a tracksuit and I want you to hire me based on the fact that I'm good at what I do, not because I'm eye candy. I had registered my company, I think, in 2014, 2015. Everything from DJs to high-level A-class artists, top agencies, top brands, Fortune 500 companies. Um, and that's everything from their end of years to their team building. It's important for, for these kind of stories to exist because I myself didn't know that it could happen. A lot of the time, women are, are scared to be great in a particular thing that is, is outside of a feminine space because they're scared to be labeled as lesbians. The pilots, the boxers, the fighters, the whatevers, that are supposed to be these masculine sports, I find that they generally hold back based on the fact of like, I don't want society to label me. God forbid you couldn't dress like a boy and be into boys. That makes no sense. In the same way that you couldn't be the most feminine girl and be into women. Why? Because then who's the man in the relationship? My biggest thing when I was younger, again, was just trying to be okay with the fact that I was different. And if I had people having my back back then, who knows what I could have been doing now? Just like find your niche and kind of go for it. <laughs> if we don't chase our purpose in life, then what is the point of this whole thing, you know? <laughs>